From the outside, there's little to hint at the extraordinary work that goes on inside this building. On the inside, however, things suddenly become clearer. The sculpture on a landing of the double helix of DNA. For more than two decades, scientists here have worked on the genetic components of disease, and now they're turning their attention to COVID. The founder and CEO of Deco Genetics is aiming to test as many in the Icelandic population as possible to see how the virus has spread, but also where it came from, with some surprising results. We have done more than screen for the virus. We have sequenced the virus from every individual infected in, in Iceland. So the virus has now uh, basically a barcode for every part of the world. One of the things that is interesting is that in the beginning, eh, almost all of the cases came into the country from the Alps. And as the authorities were trying to contain the spread of the infection from, from the high-risk countries, the virus was sneaking in with people coming from all kinds of other countries. And the most notable there is Great Britain. So it looks like the virus had a fairly wide spread in Great Britain very, very early in this epidemic. Buried deep in the basement, an extraordinary vault, a massive database of over half the Icelandic population's genetic material, samples willingly given to help combat disease. Could it be there are genetic components to how people react to COVID? There are those who describe this as a mild cold. There are those who end up in the intensive care unit on a respirator. And then you have everything in between. We know that women have less tendency to get infected than men. And if they get infected, they don't get as sick as men. I mean, what is it that generates this clinical diversity? Decode will continue to genetically sequence positive cases of COVID in Iceland, working in tandem with the health service. The company is also sampling seemingly healthy people in the general population. Of those who tested positive, over 40% had no symptoms and were quickly isolated. Carrie Stephenson rejects the notion it's been easier for a small nation to manage COVID. Yes, we may be fewer of us, you know, about the countries like the United Kingdom and the United States have so much, much more resources than we do. It is all a question of just using what you have. They, they weren't vigilant enough. They didn't react to this early enough. You know, the countries that taught us the methods that we are using in doing this in a case like, in place like Iceland, they didn't use it themselves. And that is tragic. He insists if there is a second wave of COVID-19, they'll be better prepared in Iceland, but admits there is still so much to discover about this new virus, about how it mutates and spreads, and why it impacts people so differently. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Reykjavik, Iceland.